Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of the checklist for site migration to Iron Bias Club hosting. Uh, we start with uh, checking out the uh, old site, the original site, if you have uh, Google Search cons Console or uh, something else, just make a note of some important data. Check how many pages there are um, indexed and in this case you see we have very few, means I can probably delete a lot of pages. And as you can see here we have um, almost 3,000 uh, posts only and uh, they are done uh, by an automatic uh, posting so uh, they have not been registered or uh, indexed like they should so I will clean up and delete a lot otherwise you uh, clean up the site by uh, removing redundant themes and plugins and uh, since we are moving to a place where we have the automatic backup in the uh, club hosting, we don't need any backup programs, we don't need any uh, uh, what's it called cache programs, and we don't need any optimization. And I also delete some themes or, or some plugins which I know I will not use on the new on the new uh, location and update any plugins that need to be updated. It's very important that you don't leave any security programs running because that will mess up, it will uh, create a very big uh, HT access file and it will make problem. Now it's time to download the files and the database. So you open the file manager in the old location, you find the pe public HTML and uh, also here you can delete some redundant files for example uh, some leftover um, backup files Then it's time to zip all files in public HTML. Here I'm a little bit clumsy and uh, make some unnecessary steps, which you will see later created a very large zip file uh, named CGI bin, which we have to delete later. So be careful with that. Now I choose to um, zip the public HTML folder from the folder location and uh, that will also mean later some things that I have to cut and paste but we will come to that later. Right now we just download, start the download and then it's time for the to export and download the database. Make note of how many tables you have in the original place, so when you have uh, uploaded it later to a new location, you can see that you have the same amount of tables. 
you use a quick uh, format, SQL format. And as you can see, it starts automatically to download, but in this case it was paused for some reason and you have to resume it. And now it's time to prepare the new location. And you should, since it's a WordPress site, you will uh, order a new WordPress 1 package. You uh, use the correct domain. Even if it's not uh, moved yet, you should still use it. You will have a temporary URL. You use our club hosting um, uh, discount coupon. Which will bring the price to zero. And you check that you have your new hosting package installed in on your account. And you start to manage it. The first step is to fix up the PHP. If you didn't do it before, you go back to the original and check which uh, PHP version you have. Uh, here you don't need to, I was in the wrong uh, place here. So you can disregard this this page. You can of course check what you had, uh, which data you had uh, in the previous location so you can get the same on the new. But it was this one uh, you need to see the PHP and here you see we have a quite outdated PHP version 5.6 which actually doesn't exist in the new location anymore so you have to make the uh, 7.3 in this case and see how it will work out with new um, there might be some plugins or something that uh, don't work with it, but uh, probably they will since we updated everything. And you can do some uh, tweaks, PHP tweaks if you like, if you saw that it's big difference towards what you had from the original. In this case I just uh, doubled the uh, memory sizes. You can do it either now or later, but you should uh, deactivate all kind of caching and uh, now you do a let's say a dummy install of a WordPress uh, which is good because it establishes a connection in the on the server between the database and the WordPress location uh, which uh, will make it easier later so you don't have to create a separate database and so on. Just use any dummy name here because they will all be overwritten by the by the uploaded and imported databases. This is an unnecessary step I did. You really don't need to go into WordPress at this stage. 
so you can uh, disregard this and save some time as you can see now there is a connection between the database and the files since you uh, get the WordPress tools populated but as I said it's just temporary you will delete all that now it's time to open the file manager uh, in the control panel and um, download download a couple of files which can be uh, useful later maybe maybe you will need or maybe you will not it HD access and uh, user dot any especially if you have some uh, or forgot to delete some uh, or deactivate some security programs uh, they will create they, they will have a lot of entries in the HTX access which will uh, mess up the new installation and then it can be good to have the old or, or the original saved And now you delete everything that is left in public HTML. Very important that you really see that there are no index or something, index PHP or anything left. It should be totally empty. And you upload the zip file with the files and folders which you downloaded from the original location. Of course, I had paused the video here, so it's not that fast uh, in real. It might take you five, ten minutes, depending how the, on the size. And as you can see soon, uh, I had an unnecessary big file because uh, of a failed zip in the previous step from the old location. You can see it here, the CDI bin, C -C bin zip, which should have, should not be there. And since we had made this uh, public HTML folder zip, uh, everything we uh, extracted here will come in a separate public HTML, so we have to move it back, which we just did here. And then we can delete the empty public HTML. And now we just check that uh, all plugins are there and we can delete the, the uploaded zip file and now it's time to open the database and uh, delete or drop the tables we in the database we just installed So you check all and uh, all tables and drop them.
Now with the empty database we import the original database from the SQL file we just downloaded in previous steps. And here you check that all tables were there. As you remember we had 39 tables and they are there. And then it's time to connect uh, WordPress with the database and to do that you go into the uh, database manage database and select uh, enter a strong password copy the password of course and the database username and the server don't forget to update to save the new password then you go back into the file manager open WP config file with the code editor you right click and select code editor and substitute the data here with the data you just copied from the database. Make note that uh, this local host, is, which is a normal host name, uh, it's not to be used on uh, uh, normal on, on cPanel. It's not to be used on our servers. We have to have the, the exact uh, host name which you copied before. Now when we go back into the control panel we should see again the WordPress tools populate meaning that the connection between the database and uh, WordPress files and folders is uh, correct. Uh, we also copy the temporary URL because now we have to change in the WordPress settings which we can do from the control panel. We have to change to the temporary URL. And this will do so that we can access uh, the site before the name server uh, name server change has propagated. Then we can take a look at the new site on the new location using the temporary URL which you can see as like staging URL. Don't mix up this uh, staging uh, name because this is not the staging we have access to when we make a staging site. This is just a temporary URL uh, leading to the, the real 
data uh, site. In principle, that's it. Thank you. See you in the next video.